let's compare the stability of conjugate bases of alcohols phenols and carboxylic acids and see why carboxylic acids are the most acidic among all of them so here we have carboxylic acid phenol and alcohol so let's first look at the reaction of alcohol dissociation of alcohol in water produces the conjugate base which is an alkoxide ion now what can you comment about the stability of our alkoxide ion here well you can see from the first glance itself that this ion doesn't look very stable the alkyl group of our alkoxide ion is electron donating via plus i effect the inductive effect and why is this bad because you see our oxygen atom is already holding on to a negative charge yes i know it's electronegative it is comfortable holding a negative charge but you see the oxygen atom is still a small atom and here the alkyl group is adding extra electron density onto the already negatively charged oxygen atom it's just burdening it right now and because a lot of negative charge is concentrated or localized onto the small oxygen atom this makes alkoxide ion highly unstable and because the product which is the conjugate base is not stable this dissociation is not favored it wants to go back the equilibrium wants to shift towards a more stable state which is the reactant itself and as a result of this you can see fewer h plus ions are released which is why alcohols are not acidic or the acidic strength of alcohols is very low let's now compare this with the conjugate base of phenol okay when phenol undergoes dissociation in water we get phenoxide ion and h plus ions correct now this phenoxide ion has a negatively charged oxygen atom attached to a benzene ring and that itself gives us an idea that yes our phenoxide ion is in a much better state as compared to alkoxide ion and why am i saying this well look at the structure you can see that the negative charge is delocalizing through the entire molecule and as a result the charge is spread and diffused throughout the entire molecule and not concentrated or localized onto a single atom and this delocalization of negative charge makes the phenoxide ion much more stable and favors the ionization of phenol a lot more than the ionization of alcohol lastly let's look at the conjugate base in the case of carboxylic acid the conjugate base of carboxylic acid is carboxylate ion and if you look at its structure you can see that the carboxylate ion is stabilized by two equivalent resonance structures as you can see here which contribute equally to the resonance hybrid here the negative charge is dancing around or jumping between two highly electronegative oxygen atoms but look at phenoxide ion it has a lot more resonance structures but is that how we use resonance structures to determine the stability of a molecule not really right in case of carboxylate ion we have two equivalent resonance structures which contribute equally to the resonance hybrid but if you look at phenoxide ion you can see here we have non equivalent resonance structures and as a result these are contributing unequally to the resonance hybrid and not just that take a closer look at these resonance structures here the negative charge is sticking around less electronegative carbon atom correct it is not happy holding on to a negative charge but if you look at the resonance structures of carboxylate ion the charge is delocalizing between two electronegative oxygen atoms because we have a more effective delocalization happening here the carboxylate ion is a lot more stable than the phenoxide ion so let's quickly take a recap of what are the factors that stabilize and destabilize the conjugate bases in each of these cases okay in the case of alcohols we saw that the plus i effect of the alkyl group destabilizes the alkoxide ion because it is adding more electron density to an already electron rich oxygen atom but when you look at phenoxide ion which is definitely a lot more stable than alkoxide ion because in this case the negative charge is a lot more spread out it is delocalized throughout the entire benzene ring making it a lot more stable and lastly when we look at the carboxylate ion we can see two equivalent resonance structures contributing equally to the resonance hybrid and unlike the phenoxide ion where the negative charge is mostly present on the less electronegative carbon atom in the carboxylate ion the negative charge is jumping around or switching between highly electronegative oxygen atoms so these factors make the carboxylate ion highly stable and this is why this dissociation is most favored as compared to alcohols or phenols making carboxylic acids much more acidic now an important thing to note here is that even though our carboxylate ion is resonance stabilized the carboxylic acid is still a weak acid 
that means at equilibrium you will still find more amount of the undissociated acid form instead of the dissociated carboxylate ion form and this is why even though carboxylic acid is the strongest or the most acidic among all other organic compounds mentioned here it is still considered only moderately acidic when we compare it to strong acids like HCl or HI that undergo complete dissociation. So based on this we can summarize the following. The stability of conjugate bases we have figured out that alkoxide ions are the least stable followed by phenoxide ion and carboxylate ions are the most stable. Now more stable the conjugate bases greater is the incentive for the compound to undergo dissociation and release H plus ions. Therefore, the order of acidic strength would be alcohols less than phenols less than carboxylic acids. Now there is another important factor that can further affect the acidic strength of a carboxylic acid which is the substituents. Depending on the type of substituents and its relative proximity to the COOH group, the acidic strength of a carboxylic acid can further vary. So let's learn more about the substituent effect on acidic strength of a carboxylic acid in the next video.